Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. A while back I did a video talking about what I thought would be the major problem as far as medical side of a grid down situation would be. And that was, I thought, infection. You know, simple little cuts, UTIs, pneumonia, things like that are going to turn into septic or you being sepsis and then you're going to die from it because you're in septic shock. And so I'll put a link to the video somewhere, I forget which side it is. But I'll put a link to the video there and it's been really popular. You guys had a lot of positive feedback to that and kind of felt the same. Now there were some stuff brought up about dehydration, diarrhea being one of the top ones and I absolutely agree. I think that diarrhea causing dehydration will be a huge issue in a grid down situation. You're going to get dehydrated from all the diarrhea, all the fluid you're losing out your bowels. So then you're you're getting this because of you drank bad water. Look at any of the big disasters we've had recently and what's the number one thing, the first thing they drop off is cases of bottled water. Fresh water is an issue whether you're talking about the zombies coming or you're talking about a hurricane or tornado, any kind of grid down situation and whatever crap hits the fan situation you want to picture it as, fresh water is an issue. Clean water is an issue. So I do believe that you're right. That dehydration, diarrhea is going to be a huge issue. The other way that I think you're going to see this is eating just bad food. You know, we're learning to can, we're learning to do all this stuff, and we're storing up canned food, setting up dry food and all this stuff, and our bowels, guts may not be up to par as it should be. So I think diarrhea absolutely is top of the list there in a grid down situation. Now I kind of touched on it a little bit about this diarrhea, why it's going to be a huge issue is one is dehydration because you're losing so much fluid through your bowels that your body gets dehydrated and starts shutting down. We do not drink enough water. We absolutely in a normal time frame, a normal day, don't drink enough water. I don't drink enough water. You probably don't drink enough water. So when we start getting dehydrated, it doesn't take much to get us to that point of dehydration and then our body's in trouble. So when we're having these stomach issues, whether it be a stomach bug as we call it, and that's why we have a diarrhea or we've got something in our gut that our body wants to get rid of, it causes a diarrhea. It sheds the lining of the intestines and that's what's causing the diarrhea. So another issue we're going to have is just malnutrition because the body is using the gut to absorb all the nutrients it needs for the energy for the body to keep working. And then there's nothing there to absorb because all it's just rushing through, the, the lining's deteriorating, things like that. So you get really dehydrated and malnutrition very, very quickly. You start losing weight, start, body system starts shutting down, and it gets really bad, all because of a stomach bug, bad food, bad water, things like that. So the stomach bug, whatever you want to call it, really can't avoid that. Hand washing, hand cleanness is going to be an issue. Like I talked about the infection video, I think that's going to be an issue. So keeping our hands clean, staying away from sick people in a grid down situation, super important. Then have a water filter. Like we have several water filters set up for our, our house, our system. Uh, we have them in our bug out bags for a little personal, like the Berkey Sport water bottles. We have the Berkey water system we can pour water into and it filters. So having clean water, if you're in an apartment, things like that, storing water is going to be important for you to think about as far as your preps for a grid down situation. You know, you can have the water system set up, the rain barrel like I have sitting right over there. We have this system set up, but we have to be able to clean that water because my water barrel is nasty. Like I'll show you a picture of it in a second. That's nasty. So I have to be able to filter that water for my family to drink and for me to drink. We actually started stocking up Pedialyte on a recommendation from my GI doctor. When you start having diarrhea, this is going to, one, it's going to help you from being dehydrated. It's got the electrolytes in there and it's got a little bit of nutritional value in it as well. So drinking tons of water plus this Pedialyte will get you through the rough times of the diarrhea. Now when I start talking about electrolytes and things like that, people talk about the Powerade and Gatorade. If you're going to go that route, you really need to split it 50-50 with water and the Gatorade or Powerade. Drinking straight Gatorade when you're already on the edge of being dehydrated and you're already having some stomach issues can actually cause more diarrhea, of course, than increasing more of your problems such as being dehydrated, electrolytes, things like that. So here's our water system we have in place. It comes off from one of our buildings. I mean, it's good water. We use it for our garden. We've got the hose pipe set up running down to one of our secondary gardens right now. It's a lot of water, but it's nasty. I wouldn't drink out of that. So that's why we have our water system, our filter set up. 
So we can filter this water in a bad situation, grid down situation. And we still have fresh water for my family and me. So you've talked about infection, we've talked about diarrhea. What are some other medical problems you think may be an issue in a grid down situation? So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember you need the right gear and the right training. Mm-hmm.